Chris Brown, 32 years of age. He is five years the elder of Carlos Leal. Neither man was able to make the welterweight limit. This is a catchweight bout. Reach advantage in the arms goes to Chris Brown. One last reminder how this competition works. Each night there are four fights and one contract to give away. Four winners are eligible for a contract. They're narrowed down to two finalists. Our celebrity panel and the fans weigh in, choose a contract winner, and that winner appears in the 2022 PFL season. Andrew Glenn will oversee the final bout of the evening. Marina says it's round number one. We are ready to go. You ready? You ready? Chris Brown in the gray, touch of the gloves, the Brazilian in the black trunks. Been looking forward to this one. Leal, very aggressive, a Brazilian tornado, and Chris Brown, such an unusual style. Very difficult to deal with. Landed a hook as they parted there. Brown right now in that southpaw stance. There's a back fist. Talk about the unorthodox strike. Yeah. And I tell you what, he uses that lead leg front kick better than anybody out there. Julie mentioned the long winning streak. Oh, wow. that was nasty. <laughs> Chris Brown, that's the second time he's landed a big left. Oh, Leal in on a, on a deep body lock here. And Brown uses his hands and crawls out of the pressure here. Yeah, he's a tough, tough guy to deal with, man. They're all able to get him down temporarily. Brown uses the momentum to throw him <laughs> over and get back to his feet. I mean, that's what I mean. It's like he was really deep on that body lock, ends up getting the takedown, and then Chris Brown finds a way to scramble back to his feet. Big body kick there, there though, by Leal. And he goes back to the wrestling. So Carlos Leal, really a tough position for him to be in. He had that first round finish in less than a minute. That was all striking. He knows he's got to put his full skill set on display here. He, he's obviously wanting to wrestle and, and grapple in this fight. But you come away from a, a first round one minute finish, Kenny, and say, what yeah. do I got to do to impress you and earn a contract? I know it. I mean, that night was just crazy, though. I mean, everyone was getting some kind of spectacular finish, and it was almost to his disadvantage that he finished it so quickly. Right. It, you know, then the, the conversation was about, well, what was the competition he was facing? Right. Well, the competition here appears to be relatively stiff, as Chris Brown, true to what you said, is unorthodox. He's throwing strikes from every single angle. His stance is weird. Yeah, I mean, he'll throw crescent kicks. He'll throw side kicks to the body, side kicks to that knee repeatedly, step in with the left hand. Look at that kick to the face. Unbelievable. Leal now stalking and uncorking some big time power here. Ray Lewis, we've seen a lot of different looks only three minutes into this fight. What do you think? Let me tell you something. Carlos Leal is not going to stop coming forward. But what's impressive is Chris Brown, how he gets himself out of these positions, throwing all of these unorthodox shots and kicks outside the leg, inside the leg. I mean, front kicks, you know, to the face. It's, it's insane, his versatility that he has. But Carlos Lyle is not going to stop coming. Already some big, heavy breathing here from Chris Brown, who, as we already stated, came in over the weight limit. That can sometimes be a negative indicator of what the fight camp was like. And now Leal getting real aggressive. Yeah, I mean, Leal is going to come with pressure, and you better be in shape to be able to deal with it. And we're seeing a Chris Brown that is definitely breathing a lot more than when he started this fight. Oh, that was a big right hand. But Chris Brown does come from one of the best camps in the world at Jackson Winkle John in Albuquerque, New Mexico. But Leal doesn't seem to care. He just keeps coming forward and throwing shot after shot. The, the pressure here from Carlos Leal appears to be a little more disciplined as Chris Brown has lost the mouthpiece, T. Wood. He lost the mouthpiece, but this fight is either going to go one way. Chris Brown's going to catch him on one of these weird attacks that we're not used to seeing, or he's going to get pressured the entire fight. No other way. So I think the referee should stay close. 
there's the pressure that Tyron was just talking about. Carlos Leal once again grabs hold of Chris Brown. Now he'll try and move around to the back. Chris Brown somehow able to twist and scramble wow. and land in the mouth. Right in the mouth and finish this round two in mouth. This is not good for Leal. And this is going to take away his confidence on a lot of these takedown attempts, I think. And the right hand goes to work. Carlos Leal's hand bounced off the canvas on one of those. You can't underestimate that wrestling background of Chris Brown. That's where he started. And this is accurate, powerful ground and pound as the round comes to a close. Chris Brown will finish on top. What a fascinating first oh, round, man. Kenny. Yeah, don't ask me to judge that one. That was all over the place. Wow, and Leal seems like he's dealing with a cut right now. What a round. Massive output from both fighters. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Carlos Leal on, smelled on. blood when he saw the fatigue of Chris Brown. Now Chris Brown sitting down, taking some deep breaths. A little confidence boost in those final 30 seconds, I think. Yeah, and he needed that one because Leal was winning the round up into that point. May have still won the round, but the way that it finished was voted very well. That is a mount position. That is a very dominant position on the ground for Chris Brown to end that round. Well, and the strikes that he landed from the top were accurate yes. and they were powerful, significant in every measurable way. Absolutely, and in any form of combat, if you're seeing something for the first time, it's difficult to react well to it. Very unusual style from Chris Brown, and it's working for him here against Leal so far, but the consistency of Leal, the pressure of Leal is something to watch for here. You ready? Do not you break ready? here in round number two. Carlos Leal in the black. Chris Brown in the gray. We'll see if fatigue becomes a factor because of the furious pace of that first round. Both men swinging hard here in the early goings around two. There's that push kick to the face again. And it almost comes at you like a reverse crescent kick. It's very odd, but very effective. Now he's throwing it kind of like a hook. Now they're trading. Someone's going to go down here. Wow. Leal swinging away. He landed at least one hook there, but Chris Brown oh. continues to move and counters with his own right hand. This is a crazy round right now. Body oh. kick. <laughs> right hands exchanged. Brown just strolling backwards. Hands down. Carlos Leal stalking forward. Brown slips out of the way. Wiz Khalifa, this round is even crazier in the early goings than the first was. That right hand landed. Are we going to see a round three? <laughs> I don't know. These boys are swinging wild. Uh, Brown is unorthodox, but it seems like he's kind of calculated, and Leal is putting the pressure on him, so you never know. There's some hard right hands being thrown, some big kicks, some flying knees. Somebody might go down. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> that one just missed. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. The mouthpiece comes out again. Chris Brown, that landed partially. Wow. Here we go. Here we go. Leal almost took his head off with that kick. And that movement is just very hard to deal with. He's ducking down. He's getting low. And, you know, traditionally, you'd never see a striking coach teach you this stuff, but it works for Chris Brown. If you miss Chris Brown's story at the top of the show, this guy got shot. The bullet grazed his head. He got shot in the head and decided he didn't want to be part of that life anymore. And he also beat up 10 guys at a college party. So, yeah, I mean, this guy's the real deal, man. It's, it's tough as they come. I'm going to be honest with you. Kenny, I thought that might have been hyperbole when he told the story. And now that I'm seeing him, it makes a lot more sense. It's like the movie Dodgeball. If you can dodge a bullet, you can dodge a strike. Brown now backing up against the cage. Carlos Leal stalking. Tell you what, massive power output here from Carlos Leal. But there's also the question of hitting him hard and not having him go away. That can be taxing. 
Left hand lands there for Carlos Leal. I agree now, with you, Sean. And also from an efficiency standpoint, you know, how much is he putting into these combinations? It seems like he's in tremendous shape, but you got to watch out for these hooks and these crazy counter strikes from Brown as well. Yeah, the traditional head movement, you know, before and after combinations from Carlos Leal doesn't necessarily get him out of danger yeah. against Chris Brown because of the weird angles that these counter strikes are coming from. There was a right hand that landed and another one for Chris Brown. Appeared to stumble Carlos Leal at least momentarily. Yeah, and as they say, right, as the cliche says, it's the shots you don't see that hurt you. And look at this, Brown is going to potentially finish on top in this round again. Well, once again, it was Carlos Leal that came in to initiate that grappling exchange, and Brown was just kind of able to wiggle his way to an advantageous position, at least ter uh, temporarily. Yeah, 100%. He's got that funk style of wrestling where even if you get him down, he finds to, finds a way to Granby roll out. He grabs your leg. He gets back to his feet real well. Look at that. I don't even know what to call that <laughs> kick. Chris Brown is throwing everything at Carlos Leal, who continues to come forward. Low kick, left hand lands for Brown. This is an unbelievable fight. Leal definitely starting to wear oh. down a little bit, but he's still landing shots. And Chris Brown landed a Spinning kick from about six inches away somehow to the head of Carlos Leal. Both men breathing deep, trying to find that next gear. <laughs> he was grabbing a single leg and then threw a head kick. You're not supposed to be able to do those things, Kenny yeah, Florian. This is only making sense to Chris Brown, but I, I again, you know, it's got to be so tough to deal with the style like this. Who is going to throw these kind of techniques at you in sparring? Carlos Leal is one of the hottest prospects in the welterweight division of mixed martial arts. He's on a nine fight winning streak. He's a former LFA champion. And here he finds himself trying to solve a puzzle at the end of round number two. Chris Brown, Carlos Leal, you told me that this fight was going to be good, Kenny Florian. <laughs> you lied. This fight is not great. good. It is great. <laughs> no question about it, man. Man, are we entertained oh right now. What a fight. And look at this, Sean. I mean, here they are. Leal coming forward like he has been basically from the beginning of this fight. And you have Chris Brown throwing axe kicks, hook kicks from in tight. I mean, this is punching range, and he's landing kicks to the head somehow. Crazy flexibility. How about that? I mean, it just crazy, crazy fight. There's that kick. He's holding the leg, goes upstairs. Almost looks like he's looking away from Shawnee. He's landing strikes. Oh, my goodness. Just blind strikes, spinning strikes, jumping strikes. Sean O'Connell has torn a hamstring just watching this fight. <laughs> Round three ahead, there's Carlos Leal, there's Chris Brown, and this is a treat here in our final PFL Challenger oh. Series bout. It's almost as if our matchmaker and president of fighter operations, Ray Seffo, <laughs> knew exactly what he was doing in putting this one together. Oh, magical, Ray, well done. Counter hook from Chris Brown, who waltzes out of danger. Carlos Leal continues to stalk. I mean, there's very, very few welterweights who can deal with the pressure in this kind of fashion. And Chris Brown has such an unusual style. He gets his head out of the way, and it looks like he's in danger from a kick or a knee, but then he throws this tight hook in tight, and he hurts his opponents. Push kick lands there. Leal continues to press forward. Brown continues to let him come and counter strikes. And Leal just in tremendous shape, man. Just continues to pressure. Ray Lewis, <laughs> put son, this fight into son, words for me. Son, it's so much going on right now. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Second chances, I'm telling you, Chris Brown is so unorthodox. I mean, you just don't know what the attacks are coming from. How do you train him? How do you defend him? And I'm telling you, Carlos Leal, when I tell you he comes forward, no matter what's going on, I don't know how this is going to end, but somebody going <laughs> to end special. Ah. Look, look at that. And that 
again. Was, that was an incredibly well executed wow. setup on that body lock takedown attempt, but Brown just wiggles out of it, Tyra. First, we got to talk about Leal, his endurance, his ability to come forward. But we cannot overlook Chris Brown. Breezy is already taken. His name is crazy with it because every <laughs> kick is coming from every place. The receipts are shown. He probably did beat up 10 people, maybe 20, with all these strikes he's throwing. He's played possum since round one. Wiz Khalifa, can we get this man to a house party and test that theory that we think he can actually take out 10 at a time? I was just about to say, I think he's having a flashback right now. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Carlos Leal continues the pressure. Goodness gracious. Chris Brown just pushing away. Back fist. All right, I'll throw whatever. You know, I don't know who's going to win this fight. It's been really close. But one thing is guaranteed, no one has a style like Chris Brown. Anywhere in the world, I've never seen it. And he's bringing that same style in here tonight against an excellent fighter in Carlos Leal. And, and I think I can confidently say this. This is not the best shape that we've seen Chris Brown yes. in, right? I mean, yep. this, this guy, he didn't make weight. He was sucking wind after two and a half minutes in the very first round. Mm -hmm. If he can do this when he's that tired, what's it going to look like when he puts in a full dedicated camp? And Carlos Leal, Terminator T-1000, just slugging away, moving forward. Immune to the counter strikes, apparently, of Chris Brown. Right, and that's the thing. It's not like Leal's letting Chris Brown cruise out there. He's keeping a pressure that would break many men out there. So uh, th this fight has just been wild. It's back and forth. I don't know who's winning. Uh, the unorthodox striking against the pressure and power of Leal. It's been fascinating to watch tonight. The old, the classic stomp kick straight left. Everyone throws that combination. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> 90 seconds remain in this fight. And it's not just about winning this fight. It's also about winning the contract. We saw a beautiful display in a lopsided affair from Simeon Powell. This is much more evenly matched. And guess what, Ray Lewis? You have to decide who gets a contract. Good luck with that. And son, don't put that pressure on me right now. <laughs> wow. Do you, I mean, I just, listen, I, I've never seen this. I've never seen Chris Brown. I've never seen somebody with this type of ability. You just oh. never know. Wow. That left hand landed. Carlos Leal seems to not care. Over 100 strikes landed here for Chris Brown. Uh, Tyron, who's getting a contract? On? We don't even know who's winning this fight. We don't know who's winning this fight, but we do know Carlos Leal is a world champion multiple times. And for Chris Brown to put on this type of fight, I think he's playing possum. I don't even want to say his conditioning. He's roping Leal in. He's making a walk into these punches. He's evading the punches and coming up with weird kicks. He's done this since the beginning of the fight. So I'm calling possum. Yeah, I mean, listen, both of these guys are showing a style anyway that is very PFL friendly. Ray Seppo absolutely knew what he was doing here when he put together this fight. These guys have delivered insane action. Excellent movement and a counter strike there for Chris Brown. He sends up a high kick to finish things up. There's Simeon Powell. He had a beautiful performance in that. He's got to watch this. This fight comes oh. to a close the same way it started, with a crazy striking flurry. And I am so happy right now, Kenny Florian, that somebody else has to judge this and tell us who won. You're not lying. We'll have a winner when we return on Fubo TV. All right, Kenny Florian, for a fourth and final time tonight, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Jed O'Connor scores the bout 29 28, Leal. Judge Lorenzo Toledo scores it 29 28, Brown. And Judge Michael Tate scores the bout 29 28. For your winner, by split decision, Carlos Leal. <laughs> Uh, all right, Julie Stewart Banks, a surprising decision for some. Let's get it over to you and our celebrity panel. Sean, the reaction with the celebrity panel was very surprised with that decision. Tyron, what do you think about the outcome? First, I need my inhaler. 
Um, Carlos is the absolute terminator. He walked down. Chris Brown, he completely gave us the entertainment that we wanted to see, the start that we wanted to see. The decision was very close. We were trying to decide the whole time who was winning. We were just entertained. Both of these guys put on a great show. It was very close. Looked like Leal came away with the win. Very close for our final fight of the PFL Challenger Series. It did not disappoint, Sean.